rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys for the kingdom. Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys for the kingdom. Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. We never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons and demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys. Kingdom. We got the keys to the keys to the So like I was telling this sister, these curses would come upon us. These curses would come upon us because we did not keep the Lord's commandments. That's right. That's why we're in the conditions that we're in. So we're going to get y'all a couple of these curses. Hey, hey, bro, bro, let me ask you a question. So we're going to get you a couple of these, of these curses just so we understand the things that happened to us and how we know that this book is talking about us beyond the shadow of a doubt. Let's go ahead and get 16. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So in this city, in this city, in Washington, D.C., so-called blacks are cursed. That's right. We're, we're killing each other at a phenomenal rate. Wake them up. We're robbing one another. Right. We're stealing from one another. Right. Carjackings every day in broad daylight. Why? Because we don't care about one another. We are a cursed people. Bring it up. That is a curse. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So, just like we are cursed in the city today, we were cursed back in the field, in the cotton field. When we had to pick cotton for hours on end with no rest. But guess what? That curse still applies to today. Applies today because in the job field we are the last hired in the first fight. We're expendable because nobody cares about us. No, that's right. Even though you heard that we are special according to the Bible. That's right. So why do you think that happens? Why do we have to go to everyone else in order to get the things that we need? Even though God said that we were special above all people. I'm going to tell you. Get verse 48. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So I want y'all to pay attention. It said that we're going to serve our enemies that the Lord brought against us. Hey, hey, brother Orlando hey, said this is Christ right here. Hey, come here, come here real quick. You said your name Orlando? Hey, I'm Ann. It's nice to meet you. So Orlando. What's your name? Which one did you say was which one did you say was Jesus? Hey Tom. This one. Tell him what you just told, told me. This is my friend. Wow. Give, give me a second, bro. Tell him what you just told me where you headed to. You wanna see if I'm pregnant? You said you wanna see what? What's wrong with that? You don't have to make an announcement Well, we ain't gonna put you on blast. Yeah, we're not trying to put you on blast. We're gonna give you what the Bible says about Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to help you according to the scripture. So you said that you said that you're going to see. Yeah. Okay, okay. What what you got? So so sis, I mean I'm not trying to get all in your business, but I got a question for you. So are are you and the father together? Yeah. Yeah? We have a security. Okay, okay, y'all married? No. Y'all not married? No. Okay. So so what's to prevent the brother from rolling out on you? Listen, we have a daughter already five. Okay, okay. So I want to read something for you on what the Bible says, how we're supposed to honor one another. Play it, read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. Right, so sis, marriage is honorable in all. Not boyfriend and girlfriend, long-term relationship. Read it again. Hebrews 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. In all things. Why? Because when we are married, we can build a strong community. That's we right. can make sure that we're there. Married? We, all of the brothers out here, they have spouses, they are married. The other ones, they're not dealing with anyone. 
That's right. That's just, right. just so you understand. But read it again. Bring it out. Book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Marriage is honorable in all, uh -huh. and the bed undefiled. Uh -huh. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Brother, brother, brother. Read it again. Read the last part, though. Hebrew, Hebrews 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So I want to want you to understand something, sis. So it, again, as I said, marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable in all. Because again, you make sure you're only dealing with one another, you're not going to have any issues. You're married according to scripture, according to the way that you're supposed to do that. But the last part, it says, whoremongers and adulterers will be judged. Unfortunately, I want to let you know something, only because I'm trying to help you. I want to give you the word of God. Bring it out. It's that if you are not married, you're considered to be an adulterer. Because anything outside of lawful marriage is considered an adulterer. I'm an adulterer. Oh, wait, 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 but sis, sis, I want you to understand something. You were brought here today for a purpose. You were brought here before us so you can hear this. Because while that's a problem, according to scripture, because again, you get diseases, what's to keep y'all from dealing with other people? That's right. There's, there's nothing, because you need the laws of God. Right. But let me help, because you can repent. Give 1 Timothy 5, 14. 1 Timothy 5, I gotta go. <laughs> Come on, sis, hold up, hold up, wait. Deal That's with me. Deal with, okay, we gonna, we gonna get you there. But you need to hear this, it's a little important, a little more important, a lot more Read important it. than that appointment. Because you right. need to understand this. Read the book of Hebrew, to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5, Verse 14, wow. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Right, so I want you to understand, according to scripture, the younger women are supposed to marry. So it's not any, pro it's not any problem having children, but you're supposed to do it in a particular order. Right. You're supposed to do it God's way. That's right. And he said we're supposed to be married first before we have kids, right? I mean, all y'all was married before y'all had kids. So, but here's the thing I want you to understand, because you can repent. You have to understand that though. Read the book of Acts, chapter three, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So, repent. So I want you to understand something because you keep asking this question. Repent, repent means to turn from your sins, right? So what you did before when you heard something, you choose not to do that again. So I want you to understand something. No, of course you're not the only one that had kids before marriage. But guess what? When you understand and hear that that's not the right way, you're supposed to make sure to change things from that time forward. That's right. So I want you to also to understand something. I want you to understand, again, that you can repent and your sins will be blotted out. But that's as long as you keep the commandments of the Lord. Bring it out. Why? Because he says that you are special to him. You see yourself on the side anywhere? Where's that? Where? Which one? It's very, no, it's very important because you need to understand who you are in the Bible. That's right. That's why we don't know the things that we're supposed to do. That's right. That's why we, sis, do they tell you that in church? Wake them up. Do they tell you that in church that one, that you are special according to our Lord, according to God's word, that you are special. They, so they tell you what nation you're from, that you're from the nation of Israel? No. So you didn't know that. Bring it out. What they tell you were a Gentile? Maybe. But here's the thing, that's a lie. That's right. So we need you to understand who you are. Because once you understand who you are, then you know that this book 
It's for you and you only. That's right. So I want to show you something real quick. We're going to get Deuteronomy 7 and 6 so you understand how special you are to God. Okay. Deuter the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord chose the nation of Israel, these 12 tribes, to be above all people that are on the face of the planet. Why do you think that's important? Because, again, you said that the church didn't tell you that. Your church didn't tell you that you are special according to God's word. There's a very specific reason. Because we have been lied to. Unfortunately, we have been lied to. At the church. Oh, at the church over the course of time. I'm going to give you another example. I'm going to give you another example. Which one of these do you think is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is black. They, ta they taught you that no, in church? No, I think that. You well, think, I, I you, think okay, that. you think that, but, but did the church the Bible, tell you that? He's in the Bible like that. You're right, sis, but you got to be able to prove that in the Bible. Because anything that we say, we have to be able to validate it with God's word. And you got you to gotta question, if you think that, why is the church not correcting this image that has been put all over the planet? Bring it up. Because they want to keep us in subjection. They want to keep us at the bottom. But I'm going to get that for you. We're going to get this true description of Christ. Okay. So if somebody asks you that, then you know. So read. Let's go look right here. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse read it, 14. Read it, read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Wow. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly textured hair on the face of this planet? Who is we? That's right. So the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos. Keep reading. As white as snow. So he had white hair that denotes wisdom. Yep, great. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine. You know what his first miracle was? He turned water into wine. Yep, you heard that before. So, you know that when you drink alcohol, your eyes get a little red. That's all that that's talking about. Keep reading. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine breasts. So, here's where we're getting into his actual color. It says his feet like fine breasts. Do you know what color brass is? It's brown. You're right. So, it says his feet were like fine brass. But even a little deeper than that, read. As if it burned in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. So if you put anything in a furnace and you burn it, you said it's gonna what? Right, it's gonna turn black. That's right. So according to scripture, Jesus Christ was a very dark man. That's right. Hey, real quick. Okay, I got it. Yeah. No, I'm gonna show you something. You see right there across the street? The Jehovah Witnesses. Oh, y'all ain't gonna put Now, hold on, hold on. So now, if we go over there and get one of their brochures to show you what the brother was bringing out, they got this image in there. Bring it up. That's what's in the brochure right now, over there. So why is that important to know that this is not Jesus and that this is actually Christ and who you are? Because I'm going to show you because, um, you know, one of the, the things that you came up here what was, the, you know, something that you're going to check out. Bring it up. As the people of God, and as um, we know that we got to keep these laws because we are the people of God, I'm going to show you a, a law. Go to uh, Exodus 22 and 16. Oh, watch this right here. No, watch this right here. This is for you, sister. Watch this. I'm going to show you a law that as we all know this law because we understand who we are and that this law applies to us. That's why what the uh, officer brought out is that only the brothers that's married deal with sisters. So now watch this right here. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. Bring it up. Oh, the sister on the phone, I want you to hear this. This, I, this, this is my mama. Yeah. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her. So if a brother have sex, if he run game on a sister and they have sex together, but they not married. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. 
that brother's supposed to marry you. That's the law. So the reason, now, by that not happening, I'm going to show you a curse that God put on us. Go to Isaiah 3 and 12. I'm going to show you a curse that God put on us by not following that law. What's the curse that comes up behind that? Watch this right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. So we got young kids that don't have fathers in the house, and they oppress us. How do they oppress us? Like right here, they sell drugs here. When we're not here, it's young men, young black men without moms that's primarily selling the drugs, doing all the killing and shooting. Read it again. Book of, Exit, Book of Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. They don't have fathers in the house because that first law was not applied. That's right. that the brother didn't see you valuable enough to marry you and make you his wife. And that's what we got to do. That's what these brothers did. We don't just lay down with our sisters because that's hatred. I'm not just going to lay with you and then you got to go to court to get me to take care of my child. That's evil as hell. That's right. That's now I'm not saying that that's what that brother does, but let me show you another scripture. Uh, first Timothy. You know what I want. Uh, if okay. Okay. Don't come back. We're going to be here for you, sister. Okay. We're going to get this last scripture right here. Thank you. We're going to first Timothy chapter 3. Oh. Yeah, you got it. That's it. Yeah, verse, yeah. Book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 5. For if a man know how, not how to rule his own house. If a man not how to rule his own house. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So that's what men are supposed to do. They're supposed to provide for their family. Earth, you know right. But they're not going to provide for a family that's not there. You got three, four baby uh, daddies. And just like the other. Uh, they had that thing on YouTube where the lady, uh, one brother was bringing McDonald's to just his kid. And it was like a big thing about that. How he didn't feed the rest of the kids. I mean, his kids. Nation is men leading by example.